Hey, Kenneth Russell here. Today I'm making a video that I've been trying to make for a long time. I'm really excited about it. Uh, for most of you guys might know that I've made a lot of GR55 Golden XCSA videos. And you know, it's got a bunch of synth sounds in it. You can get pretty much any instrument sound that you want out there. One of the issues though, with the GR55 in conjunction with a guitar like mine, which is the Golden XTSA, is the 13 pin pickup. The 13 pin pickup is necessary in order to get any sounds going into the GR55. There's actually not even a quarter inch cable that goes from your guitar to the GR55. It has to be a 13 pin pickup. When you buy the GR55, it comes with a uh, pickup called a GK3, and it's installed on that guitar there. And what that does is it takes your string and your strings on your guitar and it translates it into some sort of digital signal and then the GR55 picks it up. Well, there's certain guitars out there that are made with a 13 pin pickup built into it. This guitar being one of them, the Godin CSA. And so instead of me having to install uh, that piece of gear on my guitar, it's got one built in. So it's really cool. On my guitar is an RMC pickup, but this will work the same filter will work on, on different ones. It'll also work on the GraphTech Ghost pickup, the Fishman pickup, and also the LR Braggs pickup that are all 13 pin pickups made for the, uh, for the GR55. Some of the guitars, they come with a 13 pin pickup, even though they're made to go with equipment like the GR55, but a lot of patches it'll have uh, ghost notes. In other words, notes that you're not playing, you're not intended for it to play, but it's still picking up. And that just has to do with like the, the subsonic resonance within the pickup. It's, it's sending more signal or different types of, of signal than the GR55 is really wanting to hear. And it's interpreting those as ghost notes. So, um, you know, it, it's kind of this disappointing to some extent because you buy this, you know, a great guitar, great GR55, and honestly, for probably about 90% of things, it's not that big of a deal. I've been playing on the GR55 for two years and haven't really noticed it too much on, on most of the patches. But sometimes you wanna get a certain patch and a certain sound and it's just not working. So uh, I got this, the Option 1, the OPT-01 subsonic filter. And what it does is it installs inside the GR55 and it filters out those unwanted notes going to the GR55. And supposedly, I'm gonna do a test here, see it, it, it makes it a lot better sound. It's not getting all those, those ghost notes uh, here and there. So first, before I install it, I haven't even installed it yet, so I haven't even opened up the box yet. Before I go through all that, I wanna just play a couple of the sounds that I found to be difficult with the GR55, and you'll kinda of get what I'm saying as far as these ghost notes are concerned. So the first one is, um, when I first got it, I really noticed the piano sounds. I just could not, no matter how much I adapted my playing, really couldn't get to where I knew I wasn't gonna hit a ghost note with my piano sounds. I'm gonna kinda of play a couple, pick a couple chords, and then go through a couple scales. I'm not trying to do anything fancy, but it'll just give you an idea of, of what I'm talking about, this the, the ghost note issue. So here we go. You know, sometimes it won't even pick up a note because it's got so many things going through it. Let me play a scale here. So you notice that it happens a lot more on kind of the lower strings than it does the higher strings. The higher strings, for whatever reason, have a better, you know, you can get the, the sounds to sound right each time. When you get in the lower strings, it doesn't as much. See here, there, it's kind of like I'm, I'm gonna just go back and forth to two notes and you'll kind of hear it. I'm just going ba da 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 but it's going da-da-da-da-da-da. It's adding an extra be, uh, note in there. Anyway, that's the piano. Let me show you a couple of the other sounds that I found. This one is called Mild Saw Lead. It's a built-in patch in the lead section, 14-3. Here we go. That was really bad. Um, let's go to soprano saxophone. Uh, 
Now, some of it has to do with how you're playing. You know, if you're a sloppy player, it's not going to sound as good. I'm trying my best to play each note, articulate each note as best I can, but I'm still getting ghost notes. <laughs> Now, if you play it real slow, you can kind of get by with it, but if you play fast at all, you're getting those ghost notes in there. All right, and the last one. All right, this is like a steel drum type thing. So that gives you a little bit of a, a taste of what I'm talking about. And I will do a comparison after I get it installed. I'll play the same exact tracks and I'll try to mimic similar things that I'm playing. And uh, hopefully this is gonna fix that issue. By the way, also I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook up my, uh, my guitar here that has the GK3 pickup installed on it. Uh, Cause Mr. Uh, McClish, when we were uh, corresponding back and forth uh, via email, he asked if I do a demo also with the GK3 to show that it doesn't um, degrade anything happening with the GK3. So in other words, if you have, like in my situation, two guitars that I'll use with the G, uh, GR55, even though I'm installing the filter, um, he's saying that it's not going to interfere with the GK3. All right, so I've got the uh, OPT-1, option one installed on this guy, the subsonic filter. And we're gonna see if it makes any difference. I'm gonna go through some of the patches um, on here and see if it makes a difference. And I did um, go in and readjust my sensitivity and uh, check out my other video for how to do that on the GR55. But you wanna make sure that the sensitivity of every one of your strings is set appropriately in the GR55. And we'll see if it's uh, any different now. So here we go. Uh, this is the piano sound, this is the straight piano sound. a lot better than it was. Wow. And I'm kind of surprised Roland didn't uh, just put one of these in here to begin with. As expensive as a unit this is, I'm really surprised because that's making a huge difference compared to what it was before. Now let's go to, uh, let's go to uh, some of the other guys here. This was the GR30. This one is kind of notorious for not sounding super good. So here we go. Awesome, very cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. Here we got the Soprano saxophone, here we go. I think I had one note in there that was a ghost note, but that was due to probably my playing a little bit. Now, honestly, you know, the technology is at the point where your playing does have a lot to do with it, whether it's gonna be a, a good sound or not. All right, um, this was the, uh, oh, steel drum. That's better. It's, I'm still getting a couple, but that's a lot better than it was. I remember the last time it was like, he was making a lot of ghost notes in there. Cool, all right, well, I don't know about you, but that, that makes a world of difference on uh, the GR55, and I'm super happy. Man, I, I'm excited about it, because there's some patches that I haven't even really played around with or whatever because I wasn't able to, to get a cool sound out of it. That's super awesome for, for me to be able to do that with this guy. You know, I really wish Roland had put that in there 
you may want to consider purchasing the subsonic filter. You know, when you really think about it, this is about the cost of a high-end guitar pedal. So, you know, for I understand if you purchase this, you're probably looking to get away from all your pedals and stuff, but you know, it's just part of the investment, you know, and you don't have to use it. Like I said, I've I've been playing this for now a little over a year and a half, and uh, every single uh, week, a couple times a week, and I mostly use it for strings, and strings hasn't had too much of a problem. Usually it's most of the percussive notes, that's why like the piano is very percussive. Those are the ones that are having an issue. Um, but man, this, this really seems to fix it. The piano especially, I couldn't really get anything to play right before. Matter of fact, when I first got this, my brother-in-law said, hey, let me give it a shot. He put on a piano and he played like a really cool thing that he had been working on. Um, but, and it was just like ghost notes everywhere because he was playing uh, pretty fast and playing a lot of chords. And, and uh, but uh, I, I'm excited for the next time he comes into town for him to play now because uh, I think it's going to be a different experience for him. Anyway, hopefully you like this video. Um, highly consider you purchasing it if you are really into the GR55 and you like it. If you're considering buying the GR55, um, take that into consideration as well. You know, there might just be an additional purchase you make along with that. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you would, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you so much.